Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today I am unboxing and putting together a brand new Sculptfun S30 Pro laser engraver. A laser engraver gives me the ability to do several things, one of which is to cut wood using the actual laser itself so it's very accurate with its cutting. Two, it also gives me the ability to etch into the products I make, which are usually cutting boards and charcuterie boards, a family name or a picture or even a company logo. And as a matter of fact, I just got an order in for five cutting boards and the company wants their logo put in the bottom right corner so that they can give it to their top five customers. So let's get this thing open, let's put it together and let's start making some money. So here I go unboxing it and the bright guy that I am, I don't even realize that the box is upside down. One thing that really impressed me about the packaging was that everything was labeled. All the screws came in bags and it said, you know, step one, step two, step three. All the rails said front, back, left, right. You know, everything that could possibly be labeled was labeled, made it so clear. And this part here, that's where the actual laser sits on and goes left to right. And that piece there is completely assembled, even the belt inside of it, which makes putting together the sculpt fun so easy. And there you have it. Our Sculptfun S30 is assembled and ready for its first burn. The assembly was quite simple. The documentation that came with it was easy to understand. They even have an online video that shows you how to build it. So between the two of them, it, was, it took me about 45 minutes and it was very easy. If I got a few little complaints about it or stuff, things that worry me, one is this spacer right here. And what this is for is you take your, the laser itself and you put it over your product, whatever you're going to engrave, and you put the actual spacer right down to the side here. And there's two screws right here in the back and you loosen them and drop down the actual laser and then tighten the screws and take this away. Now you're laser is focused and I could just see I'm going to be losing this so I should order 10 or 15 of them in advance just to make sure I have them. Another thing is right here the air assist tube as you can see it's kinking on me right here and when I move it right over it's fully kinked and it kinks right here as well so I'm worried that the oxygen that it's providing the laser maybe is not going to be sufficient when I'm cutting wood or whatever I'm cutting and it's all the way over here on this side. So we're gonna have to see, I'm gonna test that out in the near future. But anyways, as for now, everything's good to go and I installed the software which is Lightburn with the drivers. That came up with no problem. It recognized this as a Sculptfun S30 Pro and it knows it's 410 by 400 millimeters. And so we're ready for our first test burn. So let's give it a shot. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking the area so that I know where the laser is actually going to put the image. And as you can see, I've taped down the wood just to make sure that it doesn't move and to ensure if I wanted to do maybe a second pass or cut it out later, that it remains in the same spot and I don't have to worry about trying to get the actual laser and the wood in the exact same spot so that this way it does a perfect cut left to right and the image is centered. So that's something that many people recommend. And this actually takes about seven minutes to do this picture of a deer. And I'm speeding it up, of course, for you because I don't think you'd want to sit here for seven minutes watching it. One thing to know about these laser diodes or these any type of laser is you really shouldn't look at the light. So as I'm standing behind it, I actually have a pair of glasses that were provided uh, in the package that protect my eyes. But even with those on, I wasn't looking at it. I just... It's not worth taking that chance and losing my eyesight or doing some damage to it. Hey, you know, if you guys like these videos, I'd really appreciate you help me out. Give me a thumbs up. Maybe even hit that subscribe button. I'll be doing a lot of videos in the future. So there you have it. Our first burn with our Sculptfun S30 Pro. I got to admit it was quite simple. I just imported the image, resized it and then hit the burn button and it basically did it for me. Now looking back at it, I wish I would have increased the intensity of the laser. It was only 20%, maybe go 30% or slow down the actual movement of the 
uh, laser itself and that would have made the image a lot darker. Nonetheless, it's the first one, it's a success, I'm taking it. Thanks for sticking around with me today and I hope to see you in future videos.